So um, the process that I was um, thinking about is um, one that involves a manual task that we do here in Bolivia, where we um, when we go to a store, they um, normally take our personal data information or they ask um, us to fill a form paper or a notebook where we provide our name, last name, uh, gender, sometimes um, even your birthday, phone, and an email. So with the sole purpose of contacting you when they have a, some kind of a sale, so you can go on and buy stuff, basically. So initially, I thought it would be something like this, like a manual task to do. But um, what if I would like to um, this um, data entering through a form, right? Through a, um, a, it was normally done by paper form, but but if I would like to do it through a form uh, with our solution, um, I was thinking about it, and then um, by looking at the manual task, since it's going to be involving a form, um, I think that the best, the best. Uh, the best um, type would be a form task instead of a manual task. So uh, let me change that first, form task, form. Now it's a form task. Um, and the way for me to do it would be through um, screen, what we call screen, right? And as you can see over here, when I, let me click out and let me click in and again, um, for me to do that is to associate a screen to this task, this form task. And the screen would be the one uh, where I can create my form. As you can see here, you are allowed to select from the existing screens, right? So basically, that means that you would need to have your screen before um, already created before, so you can choose it here. Now, when I think about it, it would be cool to have an option here saying new screen if I don't have my screen in this list available. So you can land on the screen builder. But um, yeah, since we don't have that option, let me go to the screens uh, section, designer screens, and start designing the screen that I want. And I'm going to call it personal personal info hmm? uh, form to provide basic personal info, and I'm going to specify it's going to be a form type. Mm -hmm. And I land on this screen, screen builder, right? And what they normally ask for you to provide is, for example, your name, your last name, and you can also specify uh, your gender, right? Because there are some um, names that are applicable for males and females. And um, you can provide your, your gender, and I put it over here. There you go. You also provide normally your phone number and uh, your email. So they can either call you or email you to let you know when there's a sale that you may be interested in, right? And so um, let me let me just do this in order to make it a little bit more friendly. It's going to be the name. This is going to be the last name. Last name. Let me see the T here. And on the select list, I want to say gender, right? What gender I identify with. And let me see. Well, um, I think I should have some um, values. Right, I, and I will provide a couple of values, such as, for example, a male, 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 and then female, female, and other, or the other options out there. So I can have those there, and I can have here my um, phone. This is going to be phone also, phone number. And lastly, the email. 
email and here email right yeah so let me see how it looks like i can take a look on the preview right name last name gender the values and the phone number and email and also of course once i do that i would like to subscribe right to this um list so i can add a button here saying subscribe Let's say subscribe or send um Mm -hmm. Let me save it. Save. Mm -hmm. Okay, this thing's um mm. preview. There you go. Rights and there you go. Okay. Uh, let me save it again. I'm not sure if I, I think I saved it. Uh, it. Would be nice to have something here to let me know if I save it or not. Maybe it is greater when I make a change. It's not saved or something like that. Anyway, I already have my screen now. Let's uh, associate the screen to the corresponding task. In this case, that is part of the process. And I can look here for personal info. There it is. I can save, right? And my process would look like something like this. Let's take a look. Request. This is my process. Oh, let me check which is subscription to yeah, subscription to then subscription to. And I will get this task assigned to me because I'm, I'm the one who's exercising. But of course, you should be able to assign to someone else. The field form with personal info would look like this. Well, very simple. You can add your data here. Gender, female, phone, email, and you can send it. Mm -hmm. And it's completed, right? Um, you get here a little summary of the variables plus the values you provided. If you want to see it in a different format here as well, what has been completed, right? If I click on it, you can see what you completed, right? Mm -hmm. And forms, the form that I just filled, you can print it, I think. Here it is. Mm -hmm. There you go. So this is basically how you would um, introduce a screen in your process in order to um, enter the data that may be needed.